If you're repairing an audio amplifier and you can't get a hold of the original transistor to replace, what you'd want to do is find a transistor that, as close as possible, matches the specs of the transistor you want to replace. Now this is a simple common emitter amplifier. This is what it is on the breadboard and here is the circuit. Now the transistor that I used in the design of this is an NPN transistor, a 2N4401. And I'm going to take that transistor out and put two other transistors in that have different betas. They're all NPN transistors, all silicon. The only difference is the beta. And we're going to see what effect that has on the circuit. And the beta is the basic notation for forward current gain of a transistor. You'll also see HFE, which is current gain of the transistor, and they use H, hybrid parameter. They had to call it something other than B. F is the forward transfer of characteristics, and E is common emitter configuration. And the last sentence there, the small h means small signal gain, HFE, and small signal beta are the same. Now if you had a capital H there, that means large signal and large signal beta. Okay, I'm going to measure the beta of some transistors. I'm going to start with the 2N4401. Okay. There we go. NPN. CBE. About 200. Okay, this next one is a 2N3904. NPN, CBE, about 324. Okay, this next one is a BC547C. NPN, EBC, notice that that's different than the first two, and about 450 as a beta. As we saw from the video, the 2N4401 has a beta of about 200. The 2N3904 has a beta of about 324. And the BC547C has a beta of about 540. So let's go to the circuit board, hook up a scope to it, and let's take a look at each one of these transistors in the same circuit to see what happens when I swap out transistors. Right there. Okay. I've got the 2N4401 200 beta in the circuit. And as you can see, it's a nice sine wave. And of course, that's the way I designed it. Now we're going to put two more NPN transistors in the circuit with different betas. You turn off the power. I'll unplug this first resistor. 
So this is the 2N34, uh, excuse me, 2N3904 with a beta of about 324. Okay. And the sine wave already looks pretty bad. And that's with a higher beta. Okay, let's try the BC547C with a beta of about 450. And this one, remember, I've got to turn it around. The others are like that. This has got to be turned around because the BC B C B E is exactly opposite. There we go. And it's even worse. So let's go back to the 2N4401. And now we've got our nice sine wave again. So if you're going to replace transistors, you've got to match specs because it can make a big difference and cause a big problem with the circuit, even though those three transistors are all NPN transistors. As we saw in the video, with the 2N4401, and a beta of 200, we have a very nice sine wave. And of course, that's the way I designed it. But when I swapped out the 2N4401 for the 2N3904, a beta of 324, we now have a distorted signal, a flat bottom. And it got even worse when I switched out the transistor to a BC547C with a beta of 450. So again, when you want to replace a transistor and the one that you need is not available, look up the specs for the one that you need and as close as possible, pick a transistor that matches its specifications. Thanks for watching.